Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Teal here. If you're new, hello there and welcome to my channel. In today's episode of Picture This, a photography series on my channel, we are not just going to be doing any review. We are doing a brutally honest The Zoom Ball review. There's a couple reasons that I say that, so without further ado, let's just hop right on into the video. First things first, we are going to take a look at a montage of basically the unboxing of my order. If you guys don't know, I did order the 40mm, 60mm, 80mm zoom balls as well as the zoom ball stand. So let's go on and watch that real quick. I am sure that as you guys watched that montage that you guys were kind of like, what? Why did it come like that? What is up with that packaging? This is the brand that's on Instagram. So we are going to dive into my thoughts on it before I go and test the products out. Because of course, packaging and basically promoting a product is everything and I do have a couple of opinions and thoughts and I have not found a video on the Zoom Ball anywhere, not here on YouTube, not Google, not social media. All anyone does is post pictures, but even that's a bit confusing. So we're going to get right on into that. First, I want to tell you guys just a couple of things about the Zoom Ball. So the Zoom Ball does have an Instagram and that's how I found them because it's basically a cheaper alternative to the Lens Ball, which is what is even more commonly known as the crystal ball photography tool, the amazing photography tool, right? So the zoom ball is seen on Instagram. It can be very confusing because one, there is the zoom ball and then there is zoom ball. There is both two Instagrams and two websites, which can be very confusing and misleading as well as some people think that this is a scam, but, but 
I am going to tell you guys my thoughts and the process of actually getting my order. First, I'm going to tell you guys about the pros of the product. I am going to list them off of my computer that I have right next to me. So the first is that all the products are actually pretty good quality. They're actually pretty great quality. Everything is super clear and crisp when you're looking through them. I am very excited to actually go and use these out in public, especially during the holiday season, because I really think I did some really cool shots with it. They are easy to hold. I will say that definitely the 80 millimeter, like that's needed if your arm will work out because it actually is pretty heavy for a photography tool. And I would definitely recommend that if you're going to be carrying this around that you might want to have a really protective case. Next, the stand fits all the sizes. I would not recommend putting the 60 and 80 on the stand because the stand is actually really, really small. As you guys saw in the montage, it is tiny. So besides the suction cup capabilities that the stand has, I would never put the 80 millimeter or 60 millimeter on that. Now, of course, there are cons and I have quite a few cons just because getting the order was a big hassle. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. First of all, I'm pretty sure that you guys have noticed that they had really poor packaging. I am actually really disappointed with that because the way that the company is amped up on Instagram and the way that people are like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I was so excited to get it. I was excited to get mine too, but I didn't expect my stuff to basically come in crushed boxes and let alone boxes that were not even taped shut. They were folded shut. Next, I only got one out of three drawstring bags that I was supposed to get from the Zoom Ball. Each Zoom Ball product is supposed to come with a drawstring. I did message them back. I will put that up on the screen. I did ask them like if there was an issue preparing my order, if something went wrong when packaging my order, because I was supposed to get three drawstring bags and I got one, which is which was for the 40 millimeter. Of course, this is the one that got me despite COVID. Despite COVID-19, they do give a disclaimer that your products and your orders are going to literally take five ever to get to get to your house so this is what i had to go through i have the timeline up on my computer so i'm just gonna read it off to you guys i placed my order on april 20th 2020 the shipping confirmation email came to me on may 15th 2020 and this finally arrived to my house on june 19th 2020 it took literally forever to get to my house and I had to contact customer support six times six times and they I don't know if they only have one person answering or not but I had the same person message me every single time I sent in a response because one the tracking would never update Two, for some reason, my order got processed four different times before it came into the country, which I'm not really sure why. And lastly, my last con is that when you're on their social media pages, their Instagram, Facebook, things like that, they don't answer you on your questions. They will only answer you or like your comments if they're positive, talking about how like you're excited, you love the product. If someone tries going through all the hoops to ask their questions, the Zoom ball does not reply back to you. And I actually spoke to someone who was trying to contact the Zoom ball and his comments got deleted. No one was answering him on any platform, not customer service, not anything. And he was actually one of the first people to tell me that he thinks that it's a scam and he canceled his order. Now, I didn't cancel my order for one of two reasons. One, I got a really, really good deal because with the current promotion that they were having at the time, plus a discount, I spent exactly $51.82 for all three sizes and the Zoom Ball stand. And I basically got everything on sale. So that was a pro in my mind. So I decided to not cancel my order. With the pros and cons being stated, now let's take a closer look at the products. And I'm going to simply start off with the Zoom Ball stand. This is the stand. I was very not disappointed but i was kind of let down with the size of this because i'm like okay you sell two bigger sizes and this is the size of the stand that you get now this is the size that it comes in 
and I was very um, just not impressed with how it came but the suction cup feature does help and as you guys saw I did put it on my tripod and it does fit on the tripod and I know that a lot of people will take their tripods out with the, like the lens ball and stuff and have the stand and have their ball sitting on top of it if there's nowhere to prop it up. So of course the stand is good for that. I just really feel like zoom ball should have maybe like made it bigger or a bigger base because this could easily fall or get knocked over or anything with the balls on them and you guys are just going to break your products. The other thing that gets me is that this is really, really small, but they have different fonts on their products. So I'm going to use their bag and the stand as an example. So you guys see this text that is on the stand. So what gets me is that the text that is on the bag is different. This is different. It's not the same font. It's not the same, um, it's not the same style. And I really feel like that's inconsistent with a brand because you should always have the same font. Kind of how in YouTube videos, you use the same text on your thumbnail so that people will remember your brand, but they have different text and it's very misleading. Next, they are, there are the drawstring bags. Um, I was supposed to get three of these. I only got this one. This is for the 40 millimeter, but I will say that the bag does feel of quality. It's actually pretty decent. And this is the first product. It's pretty pretty cool. Let me see if I can get this right there. So this is pretty cool. I really like how clear the details are when you're looking into this because a lot of these crystal balls, they won't be clear. And this actually has really good detail. I really like how this looks. So this is the 40 millimeter. Next is the 60 millimeter. That is this bad boy. I think this is literally the coolest thing ever. Like, you guys, look at that. Just, I mean, that's insanity. It's just so, it's so cool. These, like, seriously remind me of the Labyrinth. And I'm just like, wow. The only thing that I'm noticing is when holding these, if you're going to take a photo, you're going to want to like wipe them down before you take them because your fingerprints get on these super duper easily. Of course they will because they're crystal balls. Lastly is the 80 millimeter. To be very careful taking this out because I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys very carefully. This is not taped. This is folded and they put an 80 millimeter ball in here. It is a very thin box. It is not durable, nothing. This thing is so freaking cool. I was just like, what? This, this is amazing. I love this. The quality is insane. Insane. I'm just like, holy cannoli. It is absolutely crazy. Like, hey, look. <laughs> This is so fun. I can't wait to play with this. I really can't. Like, out of all the sizes, I was the most excited for this one. Makes the whole order worthwhile. I'm telling you guys, if you get any sizes, don't go for the 40. Don't go for the 60. Go for the 80 millimeter. Just do it. Now that we have gone through the unboxing, pros and cons, shipping process and taking a closer look at each of the products we are now going to go out into the world and test these out i am going to have probably my mom record it and we're going to see what kind of photos we can get and i will see you guys back here in a bit oh, i got my first burn <laughs>
about 7 30 in the evening i did want to come on here and let you guys know what happened out there that you guys saw in the montage and i want to give credits to one my mom being my videographer for my montage and recording me while i was using the zoom balls as well as my middle sister she was being my model for a couple of photos and i was so thankful for that i am still very thankful for that while i talked about my experience i'm gonna have the photos that i took right over here that are edited and everything so overall they were actually pretty easy to use it does take a minute for my camera lenses to focus in order to get a clear image and i've noticed that you want to hold the zoom ball a little higher than your subject so that it will sit kind of in the center of the zoom ball depending on what your preference is and the only other thing that i saw that was actually quite an issue for me was because i went and did this during like golden hour I kind of got burnt a little bit on my hands because the light from the sun literally goes through the zoom ball and burns your fingers if you're not careful. So if you're using these, either use it on an overcast day or just make sure that you're in shade if you're doing it during the day and it's sunny, especially if you live where it is hot and sunny all year round. You guys do not want to bring your fingers on these. Trust me, I feel like I was in Toy Story when Woody got burnt. So that is literally what it felt like to me. But overall, I think my overall rating of the product so far would pretty much be, I'm going to say a 7 out of 10, possibly an 8 out of 10, depending on the customer service I receive from the message I sent earlier today that you guys saw. But I really think that they're a fun photography tool. They're definitely going to amp up my Instagram page and I am really excited. So if you guys don't know, I do have a photography Instagram. I will have a screenshot of it here as well as having it linked down in the description box for you guys below. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode of Picture This. I look forward to making more of these episodes for you guys. I love you guys so very much and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.